the best action, the best recap of Major League Soccer's week number 11. Here we go again alongside three-time MLS Cup champ, Hercules Gomez. I am Mauricio Pedrosa. Herc, we had a chance to call one of the games of the season so far. I'm guessing it's going to be featured in our weekly recap in just a second. How's it going? It's going well, Mal. It should be featured if you like the Gigolazos. I know you do. All right, let's get things started right away with that game. Atlanta United playing New England Revolution. Thiago Almada, the $16 million man. Only one goal, one assist so far in the season. But look at the control right here. Whoa. And then the right foot, far post. That's a fantastic goal for Thiago Almada. Finally, finally is looking like the investment is paying off for Atlanta yeah. United. Yeah, with goals like that, that's going to extend that record 13-game unbeaten streak at home at Mercedes-Benz. Uh, and against Matt Turner, no less, what a golazo. 16 million, nothing to sneeze at. That's a guy's goal. Uh, but what about my Kings of CONCACAF, your Kings of CONCACAF? Christian Roldano had seven assists in that competition. He wants a goal in Major League Soccer. That thing is still rising, Mal. The half turn, the finish. The type of goal it was, the game was tied 1-1. Dang St. Clair, can't get to it. What do you think about this? Yeah, no, that wasn't easy. Because the ball looks like it's going far to his right foot, but then he turns. It turns the hips like Shakira, pretty much. <laughs> and delivers the delivers a powerful strike. Yeah, that was that was a good goal. Two really good goals to get, to get things started with our weekly recap. Now, for all of those of you really are very critical of MLS goalkeepers. We have the best saves of the week. Whitecaps hosting San Jose Earthquakes. Nil-nil, 34th minute. And look at my man, Cody Cropper. This is not going to be easy. The header, and then he stretches all the way to his run right-hand side. The ball bounces right before he makes the save. That wasn't easy. He made it look easy, but it wasn't easy. That was an amazing, amazing job by the keeper. Yeah, that's a good reaction save. Getting strong to his right, coming down. And that's Jeremy Wobise, who's been red hot as of late. Seven yeah. goals this season for Jeremy Wobise. I'm sure Portland misses him. That was a nice save. Okay, that's okay. What about our man, Matt Turner? Disregard Boateng on the ground. Look at this save. <laughs> Thiago Almada. Thiago Almada, who was feeling himself. Matt Turner sees this late now. He sees this so late, and he is so strong with that big paw, with that big right hand. This is a ridiculous save. There's so much. Look at this. Look at this take. That is insane. Yeah. This is why he's going to Arsenal. It looks like the ball is going to beat him, right? See where he makes the save? Right before the ball crosses the line. That's why Matt Turner, he had Arsenal scouts all over him as he's going to join them in the summer. Just, yeah, just a few weeks. All right. This has been great action. Great goals. Great saves time also to show the bad tackles and we have a couple of those that are probably going to hurt even for you just watching at home this is chris durkin he's he's actually absorbing a couple of tackles ah. gets there super late he goes high sees the second yellow obviously that's a red card he was very frustrated with the referee but that was a dangerous dangerous tackle yeah you said he, he goes late, late as in the 91st minute, or late as in very late. Uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, watch this. This is how you leave your foot to an opponent. Leave a little gift, a little remembrance. The problem is, in today's game, you got VAR. In today's game, everything is seen. You got that mm. eagle eye. Oh, my man Dylan Ellis. Oh, mm. you cannot leave that type that of hurts. stamp on somebody. That hurts. And that was also a red card. Finally, MLS referee showing red cards. We were, we were showing a lot of oh, bad God. tackles only deserving of yellow cards finally are getting what they deserve uh all right so that was bad tackles what about the what happened of the week bad mistakes and listen we've talked about gaga's lolina a lot to the start of the season he had himself a couple of very good games but as of late that's just that's just not gaga that's the whole chicago fire team of recent form bad mistake can make the good pass and that was actually the game winner for cincinnati that was the game winner uh, for cincinnati who has not won in quite some time eight games to be exact if we want to count the u.s open cup is gaga slonina and the chicago fire if you bought stock in gaga slonina and chicago fire and ezra hendrickson early on in the season 
It may be time to sell if you can. Wow, what is going on in Chicago? Shakiri comes out today as the league's highest paid player as well. Woo! Yeah, Not a good yeah, time that's for right. Chicago. All right, what you got, Herc? Watch this. This is uh, not great. This is my man, Nahu Tolu. Nahu Tolu, who forgot he was defending. Nahu Tolu, who did well defending against Mohamed Salah, but then forgets <laughs> it's Robin Lod. Nahu Tolu, who thinks Lod's in an offside position or it's Fragapan in an offside position, but because of that mishap, leaves him in an offside pos or onside position. I don't know what to say. This isn't Nahu Tolu. Listen, if Nahu was an attacking player, that would have been a fantastic spin move, right? Sadly, he was a defender inside his own box and that created a scoring opportunity for the uh, opposing team. All right, it's time to crown the MVP of the week. Here's my candidate. Once you score, once your team scores seven goals and you are the best player in that team, then you are my MVP of the week. Sebastian Blanco, a brace. This is a great, great finish. It's not easy. First touch on the air, he scored twice assisted once was the main man for the man demolition of Portland Timbers. They won 7-2 against Sporting Kansas City. They needed a very good performance by Sebastian Blanco, who fortunately is looking healthy. What is going on with Sporting Kansas City League? Worst uh, negative 13 goal differential. That's not like them, but this is like Sebastian Blanco. This is what we want to see from the Portland DP, especially if Portland wants to do anything good. Uh, this season. Well, that's good. That's okay. That's your MVP? I guess that's cute. You want to see my MVP? My MVP went to LA. Yes, the LA Galaxy, the formidable LA Galaxy, all of a sudden defensively is very good. And he didn't just score one goal. That's the first little tap in Jesus Ferreira, who's not a nine, who's a 10, but plays like a nine. And he's scoring goals like a nine and happened to score his eighth there. But we'll soon, right now, as you will see, score his ninth. Watch this move. Watch wow, this look move. at the, Watch speed. the speed. Break away. He's down, he's down for the count. Jesus, I believe in Jesus Ferreira. Look at that nice yeah. little finish. That is two goals for Jesus Ferreira. League leading ninth, my MVP of the week is Jesus. FC Jesus Dallas Ferreira. Ferreira. Do, do we have a cool, I mean, we had great nickname for Ricardo Pepe, right? Uh, do we have a cool nickname for Jesus Ferreira as well or not yet? Do you really need a nickname for You Jesus do need Ferreira? a nickname. Yeah, By the way, I guess you, you do need a nickname. The Ferreira family, what that means, that clout in Dallas. This man oh, yeah. is surpassing his father right now in half a season. It is insane. Yeah. yeah, so far is looking great for FC Dallas and Jesus Ferreira especially. All right, that's it. That's your recap. Week 11, Major League Soccer, Hercules Gomez, Mauricio Pedrosa. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next week.